Hello, welcome. I'm Lynn Kelly, and I'm going to read a story for you, a story that I wrote years ago, back in, well, this was published in September of 2006 in Highlights for Children magazine. I didn't have grandchildren back then, but I do now. Some of them have moved out of state, so I don't get to see them all the time. The name of the story is The Hobo Tree. Okay, let's begin. You and your shortcuts, Rafi said. We're usually home by now. I need a snack. A balmy mid-September wind whiffled through the tall grass in the mountainous countryside of Puerto Rico. The deep blue Atlantic Ocean gleamed in the distance. Come on, sister said. I'll race you to that fence post near Oswaldo. The hulking bull grazed in the field on the other side of the barbed wire fence. Sister raced ahead the sea breeze streaming across her face. As Raffi tried to catch up, Oswaldo snorted and kicked, sending dust flying. The girls laughed wildly, then staggered over to a poinciana tree and sprawled out in the shade to catch their breath. Now I'm hungry, Sister said. Yeah, Raffi agreed. I could really go for a hobo. I know where there's a great hobo tree, Sister said. It belongs to the lady who lives in the little house by the hill. My dad fixed her stove once. I heard she's stern, but sometimes she gives fruit in return for a favor. Hobos are my favorite, said Raffi, licking her lips. I love their sweet and sour taste. Let's go, Sister said. I know a shortcut. They traipsed past farms where chickens, pigs, and goats basked in the sun. They crossed a stream by hopping from rock to rock. Finally, upon a hilltop, they saw a splendid hobo tree laden with bright yellow fruit. A small farmhouse stood at the bottom of the hill. Raffi's heart pounded as Sista knocked on the door. An elderly woman answered. Flower spots dotted her apron. Yes, the lady asked, squinting at the girls. Raffi gulped, but couldn't speak. We heard, said Sista, her voice shaky, that you give hobos in payment for running an errand. The lady raised one eyebrow. Ah, yes, payment. She clicked her tongue. Nothing is free, eh? The lady led the girls into the kitchen. The smell of warm tortillas filled the air. The lady grabbed two wicker baskets, one large and one small, and pushed them into the girls' hands. Go fill these with hobos. Come right back. The girls raced up the hill to the tree, climbed the brittle branches, and picked the ripest hobos. After filling the baskets, they returned to the house. The lady filled a sack with fresh tortillas, rice, and dried beans. Then she handed it to Sista. Take this bag and the large basket of hobos to the Gomez family. Do you know them? The girls nodded. Good, and ask them for the payment. The lady added with a tight smile. If you return, 
Without the payment, you won't get the fruit. As the girls walked away, Sista wrestled with the sack. This is so heavy, I don't know if I can carry it that far. This basket is heavy too, Ralphie complained. Where's a shortcut when you need one? The girls arrived at the Gomez home, sweating and panting. Mrs. Gomez answered the door with three toddlers clinging to her. The girls held up the food. This is from the lady with the hobo tree, Sista said. Mrs. Gomez clasped her hands and smiled. Thank you, she cried. My husband is still sick in bed. Times are hard. Raffi looked down. She said to ask you for the payment, too. Oh, yes, Mrs. Gomez said, the payment. The children chanted, the payment, the payment. Sista and Raffi looked at each other quizzically. Mrs. Gomez handed Sista a large sealed envelope stuffed so full one seam was starting to rip. The payment. Raffi and Sista said goodbye to Mrs. Gomez, who thanked the girls again. As they trudged back through the countryside, Raffi said, I wonder if Mrs. Gomez can afford to pay so much for that food. I know, Sista agreed. It looks like a lot of money. Back at the farmhouse, Sista handed the lady the envelope. Here's your payment. Let's see, said the lady. She hobbled into the kitchen and pulled the contents out of the envelope. The girls looked away politely. They spotted the small basket of hobos on the table. Raffi's stomach growled. They looked up when they heard the lady exclaim, Oh, yes, lovely! She was unfolding papers one by one. Beautiful! The lady began taping the papers to the wall. Raffi and Sista peeked in. On the papers were colorful drawings from the children. The girls looked at each other and broke out in smiles. After the lady finished, she joined Raffi and Sista again. And here's your payment, she said, handing the basket of hobos to the girls. Thank you, they said. Any time, said the lady. Come again, girls. As they walked home, Raffi and Sista enjoyed their treat. The juice that ran down their arms was as sweet and warm as the feeling they had inside. The end. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you'll come back to hear more stories.